Hello everyone, this is Bhavita from Edureka and I welcome you all to yet another interesting session where we will be looking at the differences between MongoDB and CouchDB. Before we get started, let's look at the agenda for today. Firstly, we're going to get started with looking at what NoSQL databases are and why we should be using NoSQL database. Further, we'll jump into looking at what is MongoDB and then CouchDB. We'll then look at some of the differences with respect to scalability, performance, pricing of both CouchDB and MongoDB. We'll then close up today's session by seeing which we can choose in given circumstances. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in online training certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. Now let's get started. Firstly, understanding what NoSQL databases are, we need to understand a basic definition here. Now, NoSQL databases are non-tabular databases and store data differently than our relational tables. Basically, NoSQL databases come in a variety of types. Now, these are called data models in general. Now, types might include like document type, key value type, white column type, or even graphical type. They provide flexible schemas and they are very easily scalable. Now, they are scalable for no matter how large your data set is. That said, let's quickly understand why we should be using NoSQL database. Now, the pretty obvious and cliche reasons might go about saying analytically, it builds a very good database for you and it has high scalability. You'll not have redundancy of the data it's extremely flexible and it can be accessed very easily. Finally, with NoSQL databases, there is a rapid development in every form of industry. And now given the huge amount of data where data is the king in every industry, there needs to be a good format and low redundancy of data. So here's where our NoSQL databases comes into picture. Now, in industrial standards, there are many more reasons why NoSQL databases is widely popular. Basically, it helps in a very fast-paced agile development. Since NoSQL database is highly accessible, it helps in structured and semi-structured types of data also. Like I said, it is very handy when your data is huge in volumes or even there is a lot of different types of data also. With that said, there is a huge scalability of requirements in architectural type and hence modern application paradigms like microservices and real-time streaming uses NoSQL database. With these set of given reasons, why not use them? That said, we should be jumping right ahead and seeing one of these popular NoSQL databases. Firstly, we have MongoDB. Here, Firstly, we are going to see the definition and basic explanation of MongoDB. MongoDB is widely popular. Now, it is a type of NoSQL database. It's basically a source available cross-platform document-oriented database program which uses NoSQL database program, which is a JSON-like document. Now, here, while establishing about both two kinds of NoSQL databases, we'll understand both MongoDB and CouchDB. Mainly here, we need to understand that MongoDB uses JSON-like document. We'll establish what CouchDB is further ahead in our session today. Now, I hope the basic understanding of MongoDB is clear. The next thing is CouchDB. Now, the basic definition, as we discussed earlier, CouchDB is basically cluster database, which will allow you to run single logical database server on any number of servers or virtual machines. From this, you can understand that MongoDB uses a bunch of documents. And if you're using huge number of data, MongoDB is very good. But if you're using CouchDB, since the scalability and availability of it is very easy when it comes to using in different kinds of virtual machines and servers, CouchDB can be used here. That said, let's quickly understand the differences between both of them in terms of various aspects. With that, we will understand how exactly CouchDB is different from MongoDB and also we'll establish which is better in various scenarios. The first thing we are going to differentiate both of them is 
by its scalability. Now, scalability is one of the important factors when it comes to our data and databases. How it is scaled? So, CouchDB is basically horizontally scaled, which means it becomes very easy when you have to replicate the data to create easily managed solutions. Now, as we discussed earlier, MongoDB is scaled using JSON documented type. This way, it is not coupled relationally. Now, how is the scalability helping us? That will help us through performance. With easy scalability horizontally, CouchDB is highly and seriously reliable in terms of safety. So if you want your data to be safer and you want to be using a safer set of database, CouchDB is reliable. Now, if you want huge sets of data and you want to be deriving any kinds of queries or kinds of graphical inputs out of your data in that case mongodb is reliable so i would conclude here performance wise couchdb is safer mongodb is faster that said let's move on to understand the next kind of difference which is popularity now by word of mouth we understand that mongodb is extremely popular now that is because it's been there here for a while while couchdb is kind of getting popular now that is also because couchdb is mostly preferred by private users and mongodb is mostly preferred by business users or even great establishments this is because mongodb manages big types of database in a very good manner it has defined indexes there is a huge amount of mapping and redundancy can be reduced over there there is reduced functions happening in MongoDB. While when it comes to CouchDB, there's occasional changing of data. Now, predefined set of queries will run in CouchDB. This you have to remember because in CouchDB, like I said, private users use CouchDB. Like if you have to design a mobile application, the data which goes into the mobile application and development of mobile websites and things like that, there need not be any particular changes which needs to be taken place with time. But in MongoDB, these kinds of changes can be done easily. This is where our popularity comes into picture. I hope that's understood. Now, the next important thing is pricing. CouchDB is open source database software completely. MongoDB is also open source, but certain services related to MongoDB are chargeable. Now, you can go to their websites. I think some of the services start with $60 per month or so. If you go to their website, you will get a clear cut idea as to what their service is and how are they charging it. Of course, your community server is freely available in MongoDB and that is not paid based. So you can go ahead and install it and start using your MongoDB. There's also trial versions available for the priced versions also. So you can check their prices as well. Again, like I mentioned, CouchDB is completely free. The next aspect that we are going to be seeing here is storage of data. Like we discussed, CouchDB is semi-structured document based storage while MongoDB is JSON based storage. Now JSON meaning JavaScript synchronization object notation. So it is stored in a JSON format. So every part of your data will be stored in JSON format. Finally, we see the community. Now community is very important as there'll be different kind of upgradations that will be happening time to time. So it is important if you're using any particular database stagnantly, it is important that you know about the community and keep track of their upgradation so that you won't have crashes happening in your systems and you can upgrade your system or upgrade your database time to time. So when it comes to CouchDB, Apache is maintaining Couch and when it comes to MongoDB, they have their own incorporation. And both of their websites are available in the description below and I have been displaying it on the screen here. So you can go to their official websites, check out any of their services and see their upgradation, whichever you feel is relevant and you want to be using it, you can download them. With that said, we jump into the final part of today's session, which is which to choose. Now, speaking of CouchDB, like I said earlier, it is well suited for web and some interesting offline mobile applications. Like I said, these queries here in CouchDB are quite fixed, which means it wouldn't be have to refresh or change with time. This is where our fixed queries will help when it comes to our CouchDB. 
So if you want to create offline mobile applications or even web pages for that matters, that case you can use CouchDB. Also, if you are a developer, CouchDB is very good when you have to rely on certain data stored in your disk. And of course, there's no redundancy. There's no redundancy even in MongoDB. But these are the scenarios where you can use CouchDB better than MongoDB. Now, speaking of MongoDB, as I already mentioned earlier, when it comes to good organization, well-built businesses and huge trafficking of your data is being involved, you need to scale out your data. With this, there is a great performance when it comes to MongoDB when you have big databases. Here, MongoDB comes into very good use. So I recommend you use MongoDB here. That's why we hear MongoDB more than CouchDB. But otherwise, it's all good to use whichever database you are comfortable with. I hope this session was helpful and you learned something about both of the databases. Of course, you can learn more about each of it. We have links given in the description below and we have number of videos both on CouchDB and MongoDB on our channel. Do check out and do not forget to check out the certification courses if you're interested in learning any of the databases. I hope this session was helpful. Until we meet again next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!